Parliamentary members have moved one step closer to dissolving the 21st Knesset amid a crisis and building Israel's next government coalition. It's been less than a month since the newest Knesset was sworn in, but now 64 Knesset members have just voted for the first reading of a bill to disband the legislature. Only 44 voted against the move. The bill will now go on to its second and third readings and must be passed in both for new elections to be held. The readings will most likely be held by Wednesday night if no agreements are reached between the parties scrambling to form Prime Minister Netanyahu's next government. If new elections are called, the prospective date would be on September 17th, although that could very well change. On Monday, talks between Netanyahu and the leader of the Israel Beitenu party, Avigdor Lieberman, failed to produce any breakthrough. The Israeli Prime Minister says he prefers a new election if he can't form a coalition. But opposition parties would rather have the president give them the opportunity to attempt to form their own government. Holding two elections within a short time is not very common in Israel, and there are concerns over the political disarray that could take place as a result. If new elections were to be held, Moshe Kahlon's Kulanu party could end up merging with Likud, potentially pushing some of Likud's backbenchers to effectively vote to kick themselves out of parliament. In the meantime, the Blue and White Party, led by Benny Gantz, has vowed not to join a government that's led by Netanyahu. The centrist party doesn't have a clear path to forming a government, however, as it's also ruled out an alliance with Arab lawmakers. Ultra-Orthodox and right-wing parties have also said that they will not join a Blue and White government. Now we'll just have to wait and see what happens.